Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I am gonna show how to make logo animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after finished video, I will share all project files. First step, let's create new background layer, right mouse, new and solid layer and add name background, click OK. Then for color, let's go to effect preset, search effect fill, select this fill, let's use for this background. Go to color cube, let's click here and select this white color like this, click OK and lock layer. Then go to pen tool and let's make one line for shape animation. Let's make like this okay then let's click selection tool and go to click fill select this none click ok change stroke width and go to here let's enable title action save and let's select this pen tool let's move to left like this Okay, and go to here, hold this icon and select Convert Vertex Tool. And let's hold this point, make smooth. And this point, and this, and this. Okay, and let's change point like this. Okay, click Session Tool. And go to add, select trim pads and open trim pads here. Let's change end 0, that 1. Okay, and change offset like this. We can see here our shape layer. Then open stroke, change butt cap to round cap. Okay. So, in this time, Let's change offset 0 and make offset keyframe. Go to here, fave keyframes, and let's change offset like this. Okay, let's select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, so select the shape layer and go to again here, select this convert vertex tool and select this, let's make more smooth and click selection tool, go to here again, let's select pen tool let's move to down like this and this move to here and this Okay, so let's see. Nice. And in this time, select keyframes, go to graph editor, and let's click selection tool. And select this keyframe, let's make smooth. And this keyframe, let's see. Okay, back to keyframes, select this last keyframe, move to right. Okay, so in this time, go to here, and in this time, make end keyframe go to here change and like this and go to here select first keyframe ctrl c and ctrl v let's select keyframes make easy let's see okay let's select keyframe move to left and this let's say again okay not bad So, let's select the shape layer and go to color, let's change color to blue. Click OK. OK, nice. So, let's close keyframe settings, select the shape layer, change line 1. And let's control D for duplicate and move to right. Go to stroke, change color to light blue, click OK. Let's see. OK, not bad. 
So in this time go to shape layers, hold this icon and select this ellipse tool. Let's hold shift make one ellipse like this. Clearization tool and let's change shape name. I main and chain stroke zero go to fill click here for open fill color let's select this eyedropper select this color click ok and in this time move to here and click this icon and this icon for moved object to center okay let's see nice and in this time again select this I main control D press S chain scale hold control and double click palm behind icon for move to anchor point center click session tool again and move to here go to fill change color to like this and click OK so in this time let's select this I main move to right and this move to right and let's see timing okay let's select this i main to height select i main and again hold control and double click palm behind the icon for move to this anchor point to center let's click okay and in this time let's press s go to here change scale zero make sketch a frame and go to 10k frame for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard and change scale 100 25 and go to 10k frame again change 95 go to again 10k frame change 105 and finally go to 10k frame change 100 let's select keyframes, frames make easy let's see okay let's move to right okay and in this time select this i main let's enable layer and move to right and link to i main move to left and press s let's change scale zero make sketch a frame let's move to left and go to here change 47 okay and hold shift press p make new passing keyframe. frame move to left and let's select scale keyframes, frames move to left and go to here select this first passing keyframe, frame move to up and go to 10 keyframe. frame let's move to down again go to 10 keyframe, frame move to up and again move to down and again full bones effect so select keyframes, frames make easy and select these two scale keyframes, frames move right here and make also easy let's see okay and let's move to right nice let's see okay not bad so friends in this time select this i main and click this icon and in this time make sketch a frame go to 3k frame 1 to 3 change scale 5 Go to 3 frame again, 1 to 3, change 100. And we can see here background layers. Let's go to here, select this line 1 and line 2. Go to edit, split layer or control shift D. Let's delay it and let's see. Okay, nice. So select the sketch frames, move to left and let's see again. Nice, let's move to left. okay and in this time select this i main and make new passing keyframe go to two keyframe let's move to right like this and let's zoom to here go to center and move to down let's see nice and go to here make new passing keyframe and go to 3 keyframe 1 to 3 let's move to left and go to center keyframe 
let's move it down let's see nice and select these shape frames let's move to right let's see full animation okay nice so let's select these shape frames first five J frames hold alt move to left let's see okay and select these three J frames move to here and select these three J frames for I blink control C go to here control V and select these J frames move to here let's see nice and in this time go to here make new passing shape frame and go to three shape frame and move to center like this select this three shape frames again control c control v and select this i blink shape frames move to here let's see okay and in this time select this i main let's hold shift press p make new passing shape frame and go to here and move to left go to first second here and make skate shape frame let's move to right and go to last shape frame change scale 150 and 150 let's see and select shape frames make easy Okay, let's select three frames, move to right for slow animation, go to graph editor and let's select this graph, make smooth, let's see. Okay, nice. And back to three frames and select this I main, go to here and make skate shape frame, go to last second chain scale like this also go to here make new passing chain frame go to last second and move to center like this so let's see okay nice then go to text and let's write here or sample text let's write i and click selection tool Go to color, select this eye drop, select this color, or select this, and change font. Okay, let's select this Evo text and select bold. Okay, let's edit text and add eye clinic click selection tool and move to right go to window open animation compass 3 this plugin is free you can watch my video how to download and how to install animation compass 3 let's open start the preset and let's open text animate characters let's select any text animation okay this is not bad Let's select this and click in. Let's see. Select text, move to right. And let's see here. And select this mark, move to right for slow animation. And let's use other text animation. Go to browse and select this. Click in. Close animation composer. Let's see. Let's move to left. Move to left again. Okay, not bad. Let's select work area full time and let's see animation. Okay, maybe not bad. We can add some details for dynamic animation. okay not bad and also let's go to window a again open animation comes 3 
go to browse and open starter precoms and let's use some shapes let's see okay let's use particle fireworks click add and go to fx preset let's use fill for this also we can change colors here and select eyedropper select this color or this and okay and in this time we can use nice let's see okay not bad okay so let's close let's see animation okay not bad so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck